We got the Starly? Oh, sh**. Alright, we need to not f*** this up. Yes! Let's go, baby! Oh, we got the Starly! What's the level cap for the first gem? It's 16 Hades. Alright, this should be the Giraffe Rig guy. He's kind of a but I'm pretty sure Adaptability, Covet... Yeah, we should be able to deal with this really easy. Thank god it didn't confuse. I was actually kind of worried about that. Ooh, two shot it. Good, good, good. Do not confuse, and if you do, do not hit yourself. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Weavy is unironically the best Pokemon we have for this. Torque hits okay for this. I don't think Razor Leaf kills in one shot, though. We could have used Quick Attack. That's the unfortunate thing here. Yep, we survive a non-crit. Always outspeeds us here. Chill out. Okay, good. Seems this just needs to do a, a good amount of damage here. Thank God. This draft rig is such a pain in the ass, dude. Okay. I think that's fine either way, but I'd rather get the switch in now. Two water pulses always kills you, right? There's no shot you survive two. Especially when it's mystic watered. Yeah. Karate Chop, this is probably gonna crit. Wow, it didn't. Oh yeah, because Karate Chop's uh, critical modifier isn't crazy high in this game, right? That was harder than it had to be. Let's go! Trico! After you get named after a Pokemon, if I kill you, you're dead. And as a result of that, I banned you from the chat. <laughs> I wanted to give it to Bartok, but we, I, I, I have the mod clause. I have the mod clause. We are, we already knew that. Any Swamperts? I think the plan's pretty simple right now. Not, not to make a, a play on words there. We get Saffron in here. We got Weavy. We could use the Horsey here. It's probably not good enough stat-wise, right? Tort Kit's probably great here. All right, chat. Let's get it going. Tripoleon evolves. Yeah, we're gonna use the G Dude Strat, and then we'll set up for what we can do elsewhere. Yep, good. Wow. <laughs> it's a local emote. What great mons? Yeah, we're, we're definitely popping off a little bit here. I evolve at level 18. Is that allowed? Unfortunately, no. It's absolutely not allowed. <laughs> Roll out. Hell nah. That's what you want me to get me with? Damn, dude. The standards are so low nowadays. Yeah, we already outspeed most of the team. The biggest problem will be the Mankey. If we survive the Mankey, we win. If we don't survive the Mankey, uh, we still probably win, although it'll be a little bit closer. And uh, yeah, let's go into it. Hey, Ludwig, it's your loyal mod, Tim. Well, it's, it's Yeti, but yeah, what's up? Remember when we went for lunch at Boston to Shine? Oh, you don't? Me either. Haha. Uh -huh. So another element of this game, if you guys don't know, is that we named a lot of the people after members of the Ludwig community, like his mods, his old heads, his oldest members and people. Tim really likes monkey Pokemon. So I gave him a Mankey. And then I gave the Mankey a choice band. So it hurts. A lot. What the fuck? T-Grex clipped your address, Twisted? What the hell? Should evolve Ralts well, to Glade. We have a female Ralts. Not gonna work. Sandstorm buffs uh, round-type Pokemon, right? I can't remember what it does. Is it like a defense boost or a speed boost or something? Special defense? Oh, okay. By 50%? That's insane. Only rock types. Okay, cool. All right, that's all six. We're good to go. All right, here comes either the Mankey or... I'd imagine it's just the Mankey, right? There shouldn't be any other surprises coming out here. The Mankey's gonna be spooky, though. It's definitely the, uh, the most powerful Pokemon that he has by a pretty decent amount. He only kills us if, kills us if we get crit. So it's a 1 in 16 chance of losing... Geodude and having the run be a little bit more confusing for a lot of these circumstances. Here we go. Alright. It still did a lot of damage. You probably live crit. <laughs> that did 12 damage at a plus 6 true. What the fuck? 
Hello? <laughs> It would have murdered me so hard there. It wouldn't have even been close. All right, this one's still going to use bulldoze. It can still kill me with a bulldoze, I think. Uh, I think crit still kills. So, yeah, I think I think that probably would have killed on here. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking it's either the Cranidos or the Larvitar here. Larvitar. This is better for me, right? It's better that this is the Larvitar. Yeah, because it just kills. So now the question becomes, do I just stick in anyways? It's always going to use Zen Headbutt here, right? I stick in for the YOLO play, and then run it from there. If it crits, I'm going to be pretty upset. Oh! Woo! That almost killed! It used Scary Face? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I can guarantee that it never kills me now. I switch into Twist Hyena, and I always kill with, with, uh, with Bite now. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot about potions. Yeah, that was not as safe as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Oh, that was almost really stupid for me. I forgot about the heal. Yeah, I forgot about it completely. Oh, God, the crit was still there. I cannot believe how close that was. Jesus. That was so stupid of me. Jeez. That was Gym 1, yeah, that was Gym 1. There was a very low chance that I lost two mons there, but... Uh, you guys were basically betting on whether or not I got crit. Yeah, I was just seeing if I wanted to evolve it into Umbreon before I got a couple more levels on it, or after. And I think I, it's always gonna be before now. Umbreon's usually the best evolution. It is, especially for this Eevee. I don't know if you guys saw, but this thing's a plus special defense nature, minus special attack, and it is... Beefy as fuck. Thanks, Jurassic. I appreciate that. You should get a Steel Type Mon? I would love to, yeah. I really would. Alright, so now we use the level 8 uh, level manipulation to try to get something decent here. If you're ever if you're ever struggling out there, chat, and you're trying to if you're really trying to think to yourself, is it worth not gambling? Maybe I could be a big winner. All you have to do is watch Trainwreck TV's stream. For a little bit, and you will immediately know exactly why you should never gamble. <laughs> I watch that man stream every single night that he's playing slots, and it is an experience every single time, baby. Why not level up your EB to 22 to get Wish? <laughs> uh, I somehow missed that. Yeah, I actually should have done that. Oh, that was a mistake. I do get Moonlight at 31, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but yeah, in retrospect, that was not smart. He, he never really evolved, he never really developed that moveset in the first place. All right, everybody. Are you guys ready for this boss fight? Because I'm not. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> I had a horrible feeling about this. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait, that's one of four commanders. My name is Don B. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. Alright, here we go. The Zubat in first. Metamind perfectly counters him. And Zen Headbutt one-shots. But, we do have to worry about Confuse Ray. And this could matter for our Intimidate strats later in the game. So pray our best. Let's go! Okay, that's big, that's big. We didn't miss either. There was a small chance that we missed with Zen Headbutt. Alright, there's one death. All right, so it's gonna use Faint Attack. We get an Intimidate Switch for free. All right, big, big, big. That was Fake Out, not exactly what I expected there, but it ended up not being a big deal. All right, it's gonna use, uh, it's gonna use Facade here. We always switch. We tank it with uh, Metamind. He goes through this really easily. Very minimal amount of damage here. Seven damage with Intimidate, nice. All right. Switch again. This time it's going to be Faint Attack, and it should do even less than it would did before. So less than 10 damage. We're expecting maybe 6 damage. So 56, that'd be nice. Anything more and it's a little bit spooky, but we should be okay. 
Okay, fine. Seven damage is not that much. Switch back into Metamind. This is fine. Hypnosis misses, which is cool. We don't really mind that very much. You can use Faint Attack again, and if it doesn't, it uses Hypnosis. That's also fine. Another Intimidate switch. Ooh, you love to see these missed Hypnosises. Did we go for a hit here? Nah, not yet, right? You know what? I'm gonna go for the bite. There it is. Okay. That's what we expected it to do, and that's what we wanted it to do, ultimately. So it, it's okay. It's okay. We're fine with that. Switch back into Metamind again, because it's guaranteed to use Faint Attack, and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get another one. If that makes sense. We want another thing to happen. So we're gonna use Iron Head. We want it to hypnosis us. Okay. Book Claw? Hog. Okay, it's not using hypnosis for some reason. That's fine. Um, it's it only uses hypnosis or faint attack here. We just have to pray it doesn't use hypnosis for some reason. Switch into chat. Here we go. Uh, double mock punch kills here. Oh, hip Citrus Berry, yeah. Probably should've just used Perk Break there. Fine. And he gets the Hypnosis, which is just so shitty. Alright, start praying that we don't get crit. But it was gonna bait the Hypnosis no matter what. Okay, we got it. Uh, this baits the Yanma, I wanna say. So it should be a switch into Yanma. Parade two turn wake up with no crits in between. Very, very big to not lose chat there, because he's a very important part of the team. Bronzor, which is really not that worrisome. I don't know why this why this is the switch. Um, I think I just go Weavy here, and then I switch into Louie Quill, because it's always going to use uh, Silverwind. There we go. Extra Sensory doesn't affect me, so I don't really care about what you do here. I'm always faster than you, so I just bite for the crit for the uh, flinch chance. Imagine flinchy, flinchy flinch, any flinchy flinchers? Sad. That's okay. All right, it's fine. We go for it anyways. Nice. Didn't get hit. Ooh, and it kills. Okay. Uh, this is a Yanma switch. Um, it's always time to switch into Balava here. Because it either is going to use Detect or Silverwind, neither of which are effective against him. Sonic Boom? Why the fuck? Okay, that's fine. I don't know why you did that. You shouldn't be able to kill us. I used Detect for some reason. Okay. That's weird. I don't understand why I used, uh, why I used Sonic Boom there. That almost makes no sense to me at all. If Air Cutter crits, it kills. Okay, it didn't. Nice. Oh, wow! It wouldn't have even killed with crit! Holy shit! Alright! GG! Let's go! That's fucking huge! Zero loss, baby! Zero losses! Nice! Let's go! Zero losses, Don B! Easy clap, baby! Easy money. Alright, boys. Thank you for joining me for this wild first day of the actual Yeti Lock. Our team is looking fantastic so far. I'm actually loving our team. Kinkip, Garakev, Chat, Metamind, Weavy, Torkit, and everyone else that we got going on. I appreciate you all for sticking around and joining. And I'll see you guys next time. Baby.